So this is the start of our expedition down south uh, in the southwest of WA. Uh, we drove from Geraldton down to Perth and then from Perth we went out eastwards on our way to Cape Le Grand National Park. So our first stop was actually Corrigan, which is east of Perth, took us about three hours to get there. They are famous for having the Corrigan Dog in a Ute competition and their last statistic was to have 1,527 dogs in a Ute. We slipped into Gorge Rock Reserve, which was once a local watering hole and you can see the flying fox as the people would jump into the dam until we arrive at Wave Rock, which is just near Hyden. It is 15 metres high and 110 metres long, made out of granite and it's believed to have been formed over 2,700 million years ago. There's some beautiful chemical colours made from uh, water washing of chemical deposits down the face which is what gives you the stripes. Up top when you climb up you can see out over the farmland and these big amazing rock formations that are up on the top. We actually continued on to Dragon Rocks, which is named after a local lizard called the Bearded Dragon. Uh, it's not a real dragon, of course. Situated between Hyden and Newdigate. So it's early morning and I'm going for my walk. This is actually along the Holland Track. We're camped at Dragon Rocks. A um, bit of a four wheel drive to come in, but not too bad because it's not a wet season. So. Just seeing what else I can see out here. So if you can't half tell, I'm actually really fascinated with looking at local uh, flora. We've got lots of wildflowers. There's some still sticking around, but the main season has actually finished. And we continue along the um, from Newdigate to Ravenslaw, and there's two spots along the Australian Silo Art Trail. This is the first one at Newdigate. It's got four panels on the silo. Left to right, we have a water dropper, the mallee fowl, the red-tailed facet which is a rare marsupial found in the wheat lot, and the western bearded dragon. We continue on through many a salt lake until we get to Lake King. Lake King has a really unusual open air museum which is of local homemade tractors from the farms and this one is Big Bertha. As we continue down to Ravensthorpe, we find that there's another silo art painting. This one depicts the six stages of the Bankshire um, from flowering until it becomes a seed pot. We head to Quirky Beach, which is about 80 kilometres west of Esperance uh, for our second night camp. Pete tries his hand at fishing, but I think the seagulls got more of the bait than the fish did. And a bit of our pack up routine. I decided to wash my hair in the morning uh, because I hadn't had a shower for a couple of days. Angus was twiddling his thumb playing a game and Pete was trying to get him to help him pack up. Uh, Pete managed to spill all the beer out the side of the truck when he opened up that side so he got absolutely saturated, a bit pissed off. However, because we are just out of Esperance we could easily replace it again but of course he had to change his clothing and wasn't very impressed. Next episode is when we actually get to Lucky Bay in the Cape Le Grand National Park. So thanks so much for watching our little video and we look forward to seeing you next time and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!